Hi, I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at our AccuCutter Precision Roller. And what I've brought with me is some different items that we've got to use our tool. It creates a nice little bend. I've seen some great ideas sent in by a lot of customers with different metal art ideas. So this is going to be a general basic 101 of our roller, and you can work with it to fit your customer needs. So let's get started looking at the parts of our precision roller. So taking a look at the back of our roller, I have two different roller pieces and two knobs. What I'm adjusting the back for is basically the thickness of the item that I'm going to use. So using my knobs, I'm able to adjust the height or the thickness rather of the item I'm going to be using. And when I get it to where it's a nice firm fit, I know that I have adjusted it right where I need it to go. And the real purpose of adjusting it to the item I'm using is because we want it to have a nice grip so that when I use my crank, it's going to create a nice curve. And we're going to show you just how to adjust your curve in a second here. But we'll be able to adjust our, make sure it's even on both sides so you can get a nice grip and we'll be able to form our curve. If our metal were to get stuck, I can go and I can grab my locking mechanism here, open it up, and I can remove the top roller here. And then that way I'll be able to remove whatever's stuck and replace my top pin and lock it back into place. Now that I have my back adjusted, and you can tell because the piece of metal is sitting by itself in there, so I know it's a nice firm grip. Now I'm moving to the front part of my precision roller, and you'll notice again we have two knobs, and this one you can really play around with, especially metal art. I've seen a lot of really cool things sent in by our customers, but you can adjust it equally and create a really nice curve, whether you do it nice and tight, and you create a nice very curvy photo, or you can do just a very slow curve and just have barely any curve and make sure it stands. So we can adjust our machine here today, and we're going to try to do it nice and even. Just do a little basic curve. And once I have this in place, one little tip too is as far as the pin itself goes, I'll show you. You can tighten it all the way if you want to create the same look each time. If you know you're going to do full rotations, you can say I'm going to do three rotations, and that's going to give this curve just kind of so you have an idea of how to make the same image look each and every time. So with my curve in place, let's go ahead and we're going to do a simple crank. One of the best things about the precision roller is that it is very, very easy to use. So I'm just feeding my piece of metal through. And you'll see that we were able to do that. Very easy to do. One of the best things, too, if you're not exactly pleased with how your curve came out, go ahead and redo it. It's very easy to do. You can even switch it up completely, turn it around, and have this be the inside of your curve. So however you would like to do it, you can even make it flat again and use it for a different purpose. The roller itself really is just kind of a, opens a lot of doors as far as metal art goes and making some really cool photos. You can see I brought a couple examples from using the precision roller. We've just turned the curve differently on the same double-sided photo. And you can see just how cool they look. It would look great if you had several on a desk or something to display. I even have one where we were putting different curves on each side, give it kind of a wave look. The metal art that we've had sent in has been really creative. There's so many different things that you can do with this item. And you want to be sure to talk to your county agent for all of the details about this AccuCutter Precision Roller, and be sure to check out all of our products, services, and information at condi.com, and watch more of my videos at condi.tv.com. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.